people and I'm back cooking and today I'm going to be doing special fried rice. I've put some oil in, it says two tablespoons so that as you know I've got dessert spoons so I'm just, I've put uh, three in just to compensate for it and now I'm going to chop some garlic up because it says it's got to be really hot and that feels really hot to me so I'm going to put garlic in it. Right now I'm going to chop the garlic up. Bit of fingers going in there, never mind. Oh, bit of fingers in with fr egg fried rice, uh, special fr fries. <laughs> I should have got that other knife. This isn't as sharp as this one. That purple one. Take them to my friend and get them all sharpened. Being too they they're probably not even doing it now. Now I know a lot of you said to flatten it with the back of the knife or something uh, to do the garlic but uh, well I don't think I mean I, I, yeah it probably would squash it but um, I don't know I, I prefer to do it this way so to everyone who's told me to crush it with the back of my knife I just want to say thank you uh, probably haven't got enough strength anyway to do it with the back of the knife but thank you for the people who have said it but um, I'll, I'll carry on doing it this way if it's all right with you because obviously I want to well I don't want to put myself in a lot of pain do I so that is now that is Crushed up best I can. It's going to be such a, a big roar of thunder when I put this in here because it's the pan is so hot. It is on, isn't it? I have left it. Yes, I have left it on. Oh dear. Well, not as big as I expected. <laughs> what a let down. <laughs> as you can see, it's very hot and it's the garlic has now turned brown. And now add the rice. And cook that for a bit. That's what it says to do. I need a bit more oil on this because it's not going to do it. So I've got to continually keep turning it. Oh. Right, as you can see, it's all turned nicely brown. Salt, pepper, and um, it says keep stirring it all the time. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to break some eggs. Because um, it's looking a bit too dry, so I'm going to crack some eggs, beat them up. I think this eggs the next one. I can't. Uh, Right, well that's been done for about five minutes. Beat egg together. Add ham. Chicken. And peas. Right. Right, it says... Look! Little lost... <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole point as well. It said, I don't think that's right though, somehow. 
It says I've got to put the chicken in with the egg. That can't be right, can it? Then it says I add the ham to the egg as well. That's not right, is it? Well, I'm just doing as it said. If it's wrong, I'm doing it wrong. If it's right, I'm doing it right. But I think it's wrong. But who am I to argue? I know, no, I'm at first, I know. So what I'm going to do is, they're all mixed in now. I'm going to put the... Put this in there. it all together. I still don't think there's enough juice in there. I think I'm going to need more. The garlic has now turned black. I don't know if that's right. Been, I don't know if you can see but I've been cooking some peas because I don't know if you're supposed to cook them first but I've turned them off and they're having a chance to cool down Does this look like special fried rice to you? No, I love it So I'm going to add the peas now there's not much water in them peas, but I'm going to add it because, like I said, I think it needs a bit more juice in it. I think it's looking a lot better now. Right, as you can see, uh, I've been cooking it on a low heat because I was, oh, it was just getting a bit too much. As you can see, um, well, I've been stirring it continually, which it's said to, so don't stop when you continually leave it cooking. Um, so yes, hopefully it should be done. Um, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I want the leaves to show me the pictures. It looks, apart from the ham, there's a bit more ham in there in theirs than what there is in mine, but it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to turn the heat down, and off, turn the oven off, and I'm going to dish them out on a plate. And Lee's going to do the taste test. This is the end product of special fried rice. Right, Lee's going to do the taste test. Got your spoon, I don't know if you want a spoon or a fork, but I just... No, I want to do a fork, but whatever. Ah, don't matter. Just keep stirring that. Mmm. What? You can't taste the garlic. Yeah, well, but we can, but very faint. Yeah, yeah. Um, rice a bit crunchy, but yeah. Well, that's probably because it's got a bit burnt. But yeah. yeah. Um. The well, the ham, and the chicken roll or whatever it's called, is like cooked chicken and cooked ham. That's yeah, what it says so to put cooked in. Yeah, chicken and cooked ham. Nice. That's all I can say. And the peas are nice and soft. Oh, they're soft. Mm. Oh, well, that means it's done because it just said to warm the peas. So, so, yeah, nice. Thumbs up. Good. Good. Glad to hear. Right, I hope that gave you a rough idea on how to do special fried rice. Like I said, I wasn't looking forward to doing it because I thought it's going to turn up to the wrong way. Uh, so, yeah, if you like what you're doing, if you like what you're doing, <laughs> yeah, if you like what you're doing, just keep doing it now. If you like what you see, please keep, keep, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, be much appreciated. If you want to leave a comment on whether you want me to do something, like I've told you, you know what Lee can have, you know what I can have. 
So stop asking for things that we can't have. Um, but if you want, and if you want to subscribe, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, please get them to subscribe and subscribe yourself. Come on, let's keep me up to twenty thousand.